All right, in this video, we're going to be palpating the posterior scale. I'm going to start by picking up his head in one hand, bring it off to the side. The posterior scalene originates from the transverse processes of cervical vertebrae 5, 6, and 7. But I still need to count my way down the transverse processes, so I'm still going to start from the top. As it's seen in previous videos, I landmark the mastoid process as well as the angle of his mandible and go part way in the middle. I am anterior to the sternocleidomastoid as I sink in and try to find the transverse process of C1. Transverse process of C2 is going to be underneath sternocleidomastoid, so I move it up out of the way to find the T3 and 2. And I'm going to count my way down 3, 4, 5. So this is the beginning of posterior scaling. It's on the transverse process, and it ends like the middle scaling on the posterior tubercles. So this is five, six, and seven. And again, seven is right down at the base of the neck in front of the trapezius. You just feel a little bit of the projection sticking off to the side. So this muscle is on a different fiber direction from the anterior middle scaling. It does not run straight down because it's actually going to rib number two I'm going to turn my finger kind of on an angle so the muscle is more running like this. So our fiber direction is going to look a little bit different from the other scalenes. Because it is a low origin in the cervical spine, it's really only going to have an effect on the lower C-spine plus then on the elevation of rib 2. I'm still going to use lateral flexion though to try and confirm it. So I believe I found a little bit of a roll of muscle belly in the correct location but I'm going to place my hand up against the base of his head here and ask him to laterally flex into me. Good. And right in here, I've definitely started to feel that posterior scaling. You're not going to be able to feel all the way down towards rib two. That is too deep, but I'm still going to laterally flex and sink as far as I can. With that deep inhalation that we've done in the previous scaling videos, go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Posterior scaling is going to tighten up as it elevates rib 2 as its opposite action. Again, you will not be able to go all the way down to rib 2, but this is as close as I'm going to get for it. So the actions for the posterior scaling are just going to be lateral flexion of the lower C-spine and then again that elevation of rib 2 during deep breathing.